youtubers welcome back to the channel gonna do a little bit of an overnighter out here tonight with the hammock and my wool blanket I decided to forego mosquito netting because mosquitoes although there are some they aren't real bad yet and as you may be able to hear the breeze is picking up so that's gonna keep the mosquitoes down tonight I'm also gonna cool it off a little bit um, it's almost 100 today. Our heat index is, I think, 107. It's only June 6th, so that's very toasty. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight a little bit was certain foods and why they are very, very popular foods for packing and survival kits or day packs and such. This is what I carry for a day pack. Oil cloth and leather not very big so I've got to be able to fit a lot in a small space so especially when it comes to my food I'm going to give I'm gonna put things in my pack that have a lot of bang for their buck and a lot of this is junk food it's trash food but that's what makes it good for survival um, any kind of situation where maybe you go out for a day trip something like that and something goes wrong and you don't make it back when you're supposed to and you end up having to stay overnight maybe you had conveyance and you went out maybe you were on a motorcycle or an ATV or maybe even a snowmobile and you broke down and you don't get back exactly when you're supposed to people know you're gone people know where you are they know if you're not home by a certain time they can send a search party out try to find you and effect rescue or to fix you with whatever broken equipment or whatever the case may be that kept you past the time that you were due back so uh, depending on when that is they may not even get to you until the next day weather permitting it could even extend to 48 hours later weather permitting most rescue situations are resolved within 72 hours that being said and the fact that I'm diabetic means that if I go out, I got to take food, okay? It's not really an option for a diabetic to just tough it out. It's only 72 hours, and you can do 72 hours standing on your head with no food as long as you have access to water and shelter and blah, blah, blah. Well, that is true for most people. Not exactly true for diabetics, type 1 or type 2. And uh, I've noticed I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people take instant mashed potatoes okay Wow not my favorite thing in the world I'm not really a fan I've seen Dave Canterbury take these with him in some of his videos and cook them up some of his overnighters and it just got me thinking why instant mashed potatoes I mean I get that they're convenient I really do I understand it's just hot water and potatoes and you've got calories but the thing was I didn't realize how much this little package right here believe it or not weighs nothing lays flat takes no space in my pack this is 1,120 mind-blowing freaking calories. Are you serious? That's huge. That must be why so many people take them. Because that's a lot of bang for your buck. 1,120 calories in this one little package. And I can divvy that up and make as little or as much as I want to. It's unreal. That's mind-blowing. So, guess what? I'm not a fan, but these are going in my pack from now on for that reason. That's a lot of calories. Canned meat. Your doctor tells you, avoid this stuff like the plague. It's full of cholesterol. It's full of sodium. It's overly processed, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, the reality of the situation is whatever is bad for you that you're not supposed to eat in your day-to-day -day life is really good food for survival situations. Because of the fact that it has the extra sodium, especially right now, it's hot, very hot. Um, our load tonight is going to get down to 74, so it's going to be a nice night. But the daytime temperature are pushing 100. Our heat index today was 107. It's only June 6th. A lot of sodium in this. Well, 
if you're going to have to be really, really upping your water intake because it's hot, you're going to be sweating, you know, it means you're going to be losing electrolytes. You're going to have to start thinking about electrolyte replacement. Sodium is a big one. People die all the time in situations where they have plenty of water, but they don't have a way to replace electrolytes. People have died in the jungles of South America from lack of salt. Common salt could have saved lives and have had people die because they couldn't replace salt. It's a big deal. So that extra sodium, not going to hurt you a damn bit in this kind of situation where you're drinking a lot more, you're urinating a lot more, you're sweating a lot more. You're going to have to put back some of that sodium. I would even go as far as to say take salt packets in your survival kit. If you have to go to a public restaurant, McDonald's or wherever else, and you know how they have those salt, salt and pepper packets, grab a handful of them salt packets and just throw them in your kit. You can add those to a cup of water a pinch at a time and rehydrate and keep your sodium levels up at the same time. But that little can, 680 calories. That's bomb proof. I can eat part of this today, and there are so much preservatives in this that I can eat the rest of it tomorrow, even in temperatures like this. It's not going to go to bad that quick. Builder's bars, Cliff's bars, whatever. Fantastic. Only 250 calories, but it's food for on the go. You know, I can eat this while on the trail. I can use this for a light pick-me-up, and the best thing is that unlike ramen noodles, which are simple carbs, and they're going to give you an energy boost, but it's not going to last long. These are complex carbs, and this is going to be more of a slow, steady burn kind of deal. It's going to stay with you much longer. Oatmeal, another good complex carbohydrate. A couple of packages of instant oats right here. Only 110 calories in each package, but they're going to be slow burn carbohydrates. So anyway, you know, believe it or not, canned corned beef in the pack, ramen noodles, two packages, 760 calories in these two little packs. Pretty damn good. 220 calories there, 250 calories in the builder bar freaking 1120 calories instant mashed potatoes for cheese unbelievable I'll tell you what now I have a flashlight it's solar so I don't ever have to worry about batteries that's going down in my pack my Red Camp alcohol stove, denatured alcohol is what I burn in this for fuel. I'm going to drop that down in here. Bushcraft mini grill, which will work on my Red Camp alcohol stove. It will also work with my Lexata twig stove. I'll have to show you guys that, do a video on it. I've been using it a lot. I want to use it a lot before I do a review on it. Because to me, an unboxing is not a review. There are a lot of YouTubers that unbox crap, never use it, and say, this is my review. That's not how reviews work. So that's why I don't do that on this channel. My knife that I usually carry on my belt, but today I'm going to throw it in my pack. That's the Mora Carbon, so I can use it with any rock, uh, with a Rockwell Hardness over 52, flint, chert, quartz, anything over a Rockwell Hardness of 52 will throw a spark. I can use the spine of my knife. Bayite ferrocium rod. This is half inch rod. It's a huge beefy son of a gun. Okay, so I've got that. And I've got a cigarette lighter. I've got a backup knife, a small pocket knife. This one happens to be a buck. 50 feet of polypro camo for my cordage option. Not the best stuff, not the worst. 
The good thing is about the food that I've chosen to take and throw in my pack is it can all be cooked in something as simple as a stainless steel glacier cup. I don't need a whole bunch of cooking utensils and specialty crap. Glacier cup, I'm good to go. With my glacier cup, I can cook all my food. I can also boil water. I have a canteen. This one happens to be the Stanley that I've been carrying now for several years. You guys have seen it in videos. Um, so I can boil water and I can store what water I've boiled. Drop those things down into my pack. This is a ground cloth. I'm going to throw that down in my pack. <sighs> Gold Armor Rainfly. Big, monstrous rainfly. This thing is 12 by 12. Okay. It's also going down in my tiny little pack here. And I tell you what. I've now got everything that I need to affect my survival in one pack. And as you see... It doesn't weigh all that much but if I've got conveyance it doesn't matter but the thing is this video was about the food was well, about the calories this little pack right now I have packed just over 3,000 calories I can spread that out over several days and I've got everything that I need here to affect my survival over 72 hours or even longer if I absolutely have to because maybe wherever I'm stuck, they can't get to me because of weather. Maybe I'm stuck in a cold weather situation. Or maybe I'm stuck in just terrible wind or wind and rain combination. Maybe I have to be extracted by helicopter and conditions just aren't, are not ideal. Whatever the case may be, the scenarios are pretty much endless as to why you'd have to be out for a lot longer than you intended to. However... With this many calories, I could spread this out over several days. I could do a thousand calories a day. It just takes a little basic simple math to figure out I can eat so much of this today and then this tomorrow and then that the next day, whatever. But I've got everything I need. I've got my shelter, I've got combustion, I've got cordage, I've got containers so I can boil water, I've got everything that I need to affect my survival and keep myself really really comfortable if something happens and I get caught with my pants down and get caught out now conveyance I'm having I'm, I'm going in a vehicle or you know I've got something to carry all this weight so I'm going to throw in my wool blanket and between my wool blanket and what's in this pack I'm golden I can pick a stick up off the ground to affect myself a plow point shelter with that gold armor throw down my ground cloth I can take my wool blanket this is a queen size wool blanket military so it's only 80% it did come from military surplus I can open that sucker up lay on half and fold the other half over the top of me and be just fine because like tonight 74 degrees we're at the time of the year where a simple thin blanket is more than enough more than enough protection especially if it's wool um, if I wanted to make it absolutely bomb proof I would be sure to pack up this hammock and throw that in with me so I don't have to sleep on the ground and the hammock I'm sitting on this canteen my pack that still has a lot of room and my wool blanket there we are this much kit, I'm good easily, easily for a week if I absolutely had to. Possibly even longer. If I could hunt, if I could fish, if I could come across wild berries, if I could come across um, fruits and things of that nature to keep myself going even longer, then I've got pretty much unlimited potential. As long as I have access to clean water, or I can make clean water via boiling and keep making fire my shelter lasts guys I'm pretty much golden it's not a lot of kit it's not a lot of gear but I tell you what the food choices that some of these people made um, the instant mashed potatoes thing it just really did blow me away I didn't realize there were that many calories in it um, 
I don't eat it. Like I said, it's not really my favorite. I'm not a potato person. Very rarely do I eat potatoes. Anyway, thanks a lot guys for watching the video. Don't forget, if you haven't yet and you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Questions or comments, drop those down below. If you subscribe, you will be able to reach over there and ding the notification bell. And when you do that, you can select all if you would like to be notified when I upload future videos. I thank you guys very, very much for your views and for your support. And I will get another video out to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys very much. Y'all have a good night.